Hello, um, so and thanks for your time today. What I wanted to do was just to give you a very quick uh, run through of Rundeck, small tour of the uh, the environment, talk a little about what we do, how how things work, you know, how stuff kind of hangs together. Uh, my name is Justin Roberts. I'm a solution consultant in the automation team. Um, so first view of uh, Rundeck, nice clean UI. Um, you can see that actually I have my uh, environment split up into projects um, and a project is really just a tenant within um, within Rundeck. Uh, segregation of jobs of machines or entities to actually do those jobs against. It's a segregation of can be used potentially for you know restriction by ACL or you know a, a set of users for example. Um, I've seen it used effectively in a development cycle where you might use a job for a, a stage, you know, pre-production, production staging, for example. Um, but it also may be used for DevOps squads, could also be used for uh, geographical location or teams. Totally up to you. So my environment's split up into these, uh, um, into these projects and I use Git to transfer between these different different projects also so you know all of my jobs all of the work that I do is source co controlled okay so I'm going to hop into my uh, production services you'll notice that I get the uh, the uh, navigation bar on the left there I can also see my scheduled jobs and one of the use cases around um, the way that we can trigger jobs in Rundeck um, is on a schedule basis you know, nightly daily hourly minutely whatever Okay, um, because there are still an awful lot of kind of jobs that are around there that are time sensitive, and you can see one that's just running there to check some third party services that's kicked in. Okay, so first thing I'm going to talk about uh, actually are the jobs themselves. I, I want to I give you sort of a, an idea about sort of uh, what these could be used for, and really, this is a very broad set of use cases everything from Incident enrichment. So when a problem occurs, being able to show you some diagnostics automatically, so I can present my responders with enough information to make a decision, um, or more traditional sort of service automation, where I take a, a task that's complex or a task that you know takes my subject matter experts time, or you know becomes a grind task, something that you know because you've done it once, you have to keep doing it. And we can take that, we can wrap it together as a job, and we can hand that off and delegate that to different people in the organization so um, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna actually pick some of my favorites here just to just to show you so one of these this actually came from a customer they asked me about um, they were constantly being asked about creating um, applications within a kubernetes environment so it's super easy with helm but you have to know sort of the commands you have to know um, you know what you're doing so we wrap this into a job um, and built it into something that somebody could just simply enter their um, their their business unit. So I'm going to put finance in here. I'm going to put my name in there. Okay. So what that's actually doing now in the background that's triggered a Rundeck job from a human from me, you know, uh, with these parameters, and it's starting now to go and build in this case a Grafana environment specifically within a namespace. It's also going to then process that to pick up the admin password to 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 send on, um, as well as the URL to pass to the user as well. So when all of that's finished, I get notified in Slack, um, or I could potentially forward this on straight to a user directly. So what's given me is self-service, but it's also something a job that you know I don't have to do. That is definitely one of the one of the reasons that we see um, users working with uh, with Rundeck and I think actually I've got a notification you can see there's my name Justin and you can see it's built for finance and I just did some diagnostics to add some additional um, Kubernetes capacity in into Slack very very sim simple use case so when we talk about a job what 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 is a job so let me um let me edit the job so we can actually see how this is working um a job is made up of steps, set of logical steps that can be run sequentially or in parallel or as part of what we call a rule set so we can have some quite complex interactions. And actually these steps could be anything as simple as running a script in line, running a command through to any one of our 120 plugins. So um, plugins to interact with your cloud services, 
plugins to interact with, um, orchestration platforms like Kubernetes, uh, scheduling platforms, um, inter interacting with AWS, Azure, as you can see, Ansible. So if you already have Ansible playbooks and you are, or you already have Terraform, don't throw them away. Don't rebuild this. Build them into something that's controllable and something that you can actually... Uh, um, you know that you can actually use or actually allow other people to to actually work with so I can build those options in so I, I you know all of this can either be run as a complete seamless flow or I can ask for uh, for user input if I create tickets in Jira for example we have plugins for that also um, we also have a thriving community of people who would build their own plugins um, and use actually the open source version of, of Rundex so you know feel free to give all of those a try and think of this as actually as the ability to to keep a framework for any of your automation. So, you know, my the the view that I have here in my production services is based on my log on could be based on something like single sign on. Um, I have secure access now to, to the air, only the areas that, you know, really, really I should do. So, you know, all of the governance, all of the security people really like this as a platform. Um, I mean, in addition, I can see all of my activity, who ran something, you know, what 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 actually ran at a granular level. OK, and as you can see here, these are all the steps that took place. I can see what the password was. Of course, I could obfuscate that if I wanted to. There's my URL and everything else. So hopefully you just get a little bit of insight into Rundeck, how we can um, automate uh, these kind of self-service environments, but there's actually a whole lot more around automatic remediation, um, also the ability to to enrich incidents with additional diagnostic information. If you need some more information, feel free to get in touch. Um, or of course, if you go to our site, there's a uh, there is the community version if you wanted to take a look. Also, more than happy to help. But thank you for your time today. Mm -hmm.